just to get it. This man of God spoke very powerfully about church. And uh, all of us know there are so many churches that you've passed by or that you've passed when you're coming here. Doesn't mean that we are the best church, no. Doesn't mean that we are the only church, no. Doesn't mean that we are the most spiritual church, no. No. What it means is that the man of God or the pastors, your spiritual leaders, whenever they talk, they address issues of your destiny. And because every sheep knows the voice of the shepherd, I've, I know I've not been called for everybody in this world. And don't think that you have been called for everyone. Your calling is peculiar to a certain people. It is designated. Bonus if you will. Calling yako near watu flani na sehemu flani. And keep on doing what you are doing. Because one day, when God is searching for a prophet, he might decide, you, he might decide to give you an opportunity. So be, keep being faithful as an intercessor. Because when God says, today I want to anoint prophets, he will find you on duty. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the kingdom of God, we have said that prosperity, or rather promotion, is not factored in by God giving you more money. It is God giving you more responsibility. If you realize that you don't have more work added towards you or what you do, know that you have been unfaithful to some degree. Jua uja kuwa maminifu. Kwa ufalme, ukiwa maminifu, unaongezewa kazi. You remember the, one, the, 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 the man who gave the talents? You remember? All of you know the distribution, right? But the person did not trade with his talent. What happened? It was taken away from him. It was given to a one, the person who had traded with his talents. So he said, you have been faithful in this. So take charge of over these ten cities. That is how God does it. And whenever God gives you a larger scope of responsibility, that is always accorded by certain things that will aid your assignment. Kuna vitu anachilia. Akikupia kazi mingi. Hakuachi tu hapo. Anakusaidia. Anakupatia. Kila mbacho unaitaji. Kufanya nini? Yo kazi. So kisema tiko sababu munga mekupatia pesa mingi na manisho mekua mamanifu hapana. Kuna njia mingi ya kutafuta pesa na imanisho mekua mamanifu kwa hile munga mekupea. Praise the Lord. I know we have, uh, um, uh, most of us uh, following certain verses of God, which is good. Understanding. This is not me who is saying this. He's a man of God that happens that happens to be my mentor in some way. God really helped him. I remember many years back in the ministry. He really helped me navigate things. Ministry is not easy. Ministry is not easy. I have discovered and I have come to realize. I will not encourage any person to do ministry. I will not encourage you to do ministry. There are no... Yes, you can. Uh, Mike, <laughs> pastor, I've been called. <laughs> pastor, I've been called. I've been called to the nations. Oh, my good Lord, I will assure you and I will tell you, it will take the best of you. It will take the best of you. Bonas if you Bonas if you Muta kuja kwangwa niambie, pastor, the Lord has called me. I'll tell you, oh, I'm his servant. And I honor him. Yes, and I'll tell you, go back and hear again. But the most honorable, the most noble job is the work of ministry. But it's not easy. See, right, easy. And uh, there is this particular grace that I happen to walk in. I don't know what it is. But to see secrets of the hearts of men, sometimes it's so heavy to me. It's so heavy for me that I can't, I don't know where to run to. Because whenever I assess something, by the help of God, then I keep on asking God, Lord, why have you allowed me to see this? I, I, was, so, I was doing well. I was at peace. 
But why have you revealed this? But the same same people that this has been revealed, wakiwangalia, um, wanona wakosawa. But there's a problem. There's a deep problem. And all of us know that the devil operates so much in secrecy. So if you hear the word says that we should confess our sins one to another, there is something there. Your deliverance starts whenever you confess. You break loose out of demonic con containment. That habit, whenever you share, hey, pastor, this is my struggle. Hey, man of God, I'm struggling with A, B, C, D. Bam. That's when deliverance has begun. Because he rejoices, the devil rejoices whenever you hide it. And by the way, there is nothing God can hide or you can hide from God, rather. Amen. Amen. One person that I saw operating in this gift was prophet. Prophet Elijah. Elisha. Elisha. He had it. And all of us know that his servant Gehazi went to pick something that was not meant for him. You remember? Alienda kuchukua pesa. Kutuwa kwa naman. Pesa mbae naman asema hii ni ya pasta. Watanipatie pasta. Lakini munga kambia pasta usichukue. Naman akasema kwa nini pasta achukui hii ni baraka. Assistant pasta akienda kafaya nini? Kachukua. Akifikiria jaonekana. But when he came, the man of God told him, where were you? He said, ah, I've just been around. He said, but my spirit was with you. Are we ready? My spirit was with you. My heart went with you. If you are ready, let me know. This is not my teaching, but I just, every, every Sunday, I've been doing, nitakuwa na kimbiza kasungura. Pastor Grace is chasing the rabbit. So let me chase this rabbit to help somebody. Uh, just, if you are ready, let me know. Praise the Lord. As much as you have mentors that you get education from, just know very well, Mentors cannot be fathers. Or in some case, when you work with a mentor, maybe by God's grace, that relationship will graduate into a father-son relationship. There's that, there's that possibility. And that's when the heart is concerned. The heart is involved. It's a heart matter. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. How many surnames do you have? Surnames? One. 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 All of us have one son names? What does that say? What does that tell you? You have what? You have what? You can't have two fathers. Even in the realms of the is that way. Evil. You can't have two son names. I'm Diongo Degua. What's your name? My father is Jeru Diongo Degua. My names are John. No, you take the second name of your father, right? Is it the first or second name? Which is the son name? Tukotayari watuangu. Good, play it. Play it. Listen careful. You see, if you want to make heaven, when is this life is over, combine with succeeding in this part of this life, then this kind of church is your right place. You are in the right place. You don't join a church because it's near you. I don't care if you have to drive three hours to attend it. You join a, a church because the message they bring there connects with your destiny, speaks to your heart. You know you're a man of God because when you sit under him, what comes out of his mouth always speaks to your destiny. It's as if God always knows where you are part time, what you're going through, and he goes to tell him what to bring in. This, this is how the man's words are not normal words. If you come here and everything you hear is like you are listening to a professor, you are just in a mass or English class, you need to find your church. Then this is not your church. The church is transformational in nature. You receive things that hit at the core of your nature and changes your life. And changes your life. The Lord. Amen. That's powerful. You don't go to a church. That's because it is next to your house. And I will show you another scripture. Deuteronomy 12, 13. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 13. This is a reminder, Pastor Grace. We need to remind people. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 13. 13, 13. 
13. Deuteronomy 12, 13. Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. Right. Let's read together. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Anywhere you do what? Anywhere you do what? Anywhere you do what? That also includes anyone you like. You must be led. All of you know, and I keep saying this, I will not accord any man of God any honor that I don't give my own pastor, my own spiritual leader, my father. I will not. I will not give any man of God honor more than that which I give. There is this uh, preacher that went to preach in a certain church. Was invited by this man of God. And this preacher said, those who want to be blessed, please come and sow, sow and sow seed. So, one of the young men who the pastor knew, this man is jobless and doesn't have anything. Because the seed was too big. But this man came because he was so desperate. And the man of God prayed for people. After this man left, the pastor took the mic. And he said, I know you. Some of you don't have this seed. And because of that, I set you free from every prophetic trap that you might enter. That you might, you know, put yourself into. Now, I set free. Now, I'm going to be a because I'm going to be a Lakini yule pastor mwenye mekuja kuhubiri. Anaona amiraise nini? Offering mingi sana. Kwa sababu watu niwe. But the pastor knows. A genuine man that you follow as your servant of God or as a man of God in your life is a man that you have to give your heart. Don't just give Jesus your heart. You have to give your pastor your heart. And it takes grace to do that. He takes grace. It takes understanding to do that. It is only when you'll understand what your pastor carries, that's when you'll open your heart. There's this artist called Juliani. Juliana Nasema. Unatema bigiji kwa sababu ya juguza kuonjesho. Njugu na onjesho unatema bigiji yenye inafaa kukaa kwa mdomo. We unaitema kwa sababu, hey, umeona njugu maha? That's what many of us believers do. You compare your man of God to somebody else. I can tell you, you'll miss. I do it the way God wants me to do it. Whenever you compare me with somebody else as your pastor, you've missed it. Number one, you've missed it. Number two, you will not receive. Even from the person you are, you are, you are going after. Who to receive? Because you must be connected. All these sources of information we get from social media, they are to add on what we have decided to settle down as our source of information. Now, I don't say that you should not listen to others. No, if you listen to me only, you have to have a balanced approach. There are graces I don't have. You have to look for them in other trustable, good vessels that have good reputation. Lazima upote, upoge kutoka kwa ukulakini, ndakumbusha, uridhi, in a lawyer inheritance, ikona one principle, the principle of sonship. If you're not a son, forget it. It took me so, so much time. I went through so much losses because of that. And he said, be careful not to sacrifice your burnt offering. Just anywhere you like. Next verse, verse 14. Verse 14. You may do so only. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you discovered that this is not a request? It's a command. And God gives a term. He says that only at the place the Lord will choose. You, are, you don't have any privilege to choose. Some of you here, you never knew at one point you'll come across your pastors. You never knew. But God, by his own wisdom, he just brought the pastor to you. Or he positioned you strategically and you connected with your spiritual leaders. Including me. But you see, these are people or places that God has chosen for you. Because God knows when he leaves that privilege for you to choose, you'll make the wrong mistakes. And that's what people have made. 
You don't choose a place. People say, hey, pastor, tunenda karibu church kwa sababu ni karibu na home. We go there. It's okay. But I see church in the church. Takuza swali. You stay, where do you stay? Let's say in Omoja. Let's say you happen to be in Kitengela. Will you just sleep in Kitengela because home ni home? Wige kwa nyumba ya mutu. Ah, siya, hii ni nyumba. Eh, hey, yeah, yeah. Nyumba ni nyumba. Na ulale. Why do you travel all, all, those, all that distance back to, your back to your house? That's where you belong. Yeah. Hmm? That's where you belong. That's where you belong. Hakuna siku, nitakimizana na watu in town. Then, my father in the Lord needs me to do something. Ah, I'm busy, wait. No, that's what, that's what most believers do now. This is something that I need, we need to instill in us. You're to do Mama Sunta spoke in the last mission we were together. And he warned the women, and he told the women, this issue of calling, or this issue of spiritual leadership is a sensitive thing. It will kill you, or it might build you. Yeah. If you check well, God has always been speaking the same thing. I'm the God of what? Abraham, Isaac. And if you check, whenever he spoke to the people, the people even never mentioned these people. But God still comes. Bala apati answer and I say, Maha, Sasa, I am the God of who? Abraham, Isaac. Why is he referring to Abraham? I am the God of your father. I am the God of your father. But you see, there is some labors that God acknowledges in the heavens that are courtesy of his spiritual leader. That he knows, at this moment, I might be weak. I might not have anything. But let me bank on that which the man of God has already built in the spirit. And he called. Munga comes idea. Are you getting it? How comes Elisha, whenever he was threatened with the Jordan, he said, where is the, the father, the God of my father, Elijah? Where is the God of my father, Elijah? Sometimes when you're pressed, it is not rababosia. Riba, kaka, kuku, ka, ah, ah. Apo sasa is the battle of fathers. God now, God swings in. Not because you prayed, not because of your nomenclature, not because of your literacy. No. Because of a man. Mm. Isaiah 32, verse 1. Hey. Isaiah 32 from verse 1. Let's read it. Uh -huh. A righteous king is coming. I thought that a king should rule. But how comes the king has positioned himself to give way for the princess to rule. Mm. Are you getting it? Yes, now, who is the prince? The son of, the king. The son of what? Of the so what arrangement do we have there? A father-son relationship. Now, proceed. Verse 2. Najwa ina offend watu wengine. Eh, ka. Yes. Now, give me King James. I love King James. Just switch it to King James Version. Let's look at this. Now, this is the concept, the whole concept of spiritual covering. This is the whole concept. Spiritual covering. is important. It's important. Say that a man shall be as what? Please read, read with me. Come on. A man shall be a hiding place. In other words, People who come and hide behind this man. God has put this man to protect a certain kind of people. Are you getting it? Yes. Ah, proceed. Uh -huh. It shall be a hiding place from what? From the wind. So this man will be a hiding place, number one. Just go back, please. 
as rivers of water in a dry place. He will become like a river. Hallelujah. A man. God calls a man a river. Some of you, the revelations, the mysteries you've come to understand, to understand through the ministry of your spiritual leader, it will take you 50 years to stumble upon them. Now we're going to find the same scripture, the same Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his own. That's the one you have been knowing. You don't know there's a scripture that talks about other important things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are we getting it? Yeah. So this person will be like a river of waters in a dry place. Yeah. So God is saying, as long as you hide behind this man, even when you come to dryness through his ministry, he will make things, he will make things flow. Look at the Israelites. Yes. Israelites. There is something you've never known about the transition from Egypt to Israel. Let me show you details. No pay details. Yes. Good. Stay with me. If you decide to take a walk from here to Mombasa with the sun that is kochi. I know you'll need, there's, there'll be need for you to take a shower. Yeah. Talk to me. Yes. There'll be need for you to drink water. Yes. There'll be need for you to change your shoes. Yes. There'll be need for you to change your raiment. Your, your... Yeah. But you know what? They never change their shoes. They never changed their shoes. Even their clothes. The Bible says, Akuna Gozao Zelezil Raruka. 40 years. You try now. Fika tu hapa, hapa mlolongo, hapa tuju. You see, these are details we don't know. Yeah. And let me tell you, walking in a distance, jua eko hapa, you have to understand, there has to be a, 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 a conducive environment yeah. for people to move from one place to another. To another. Now, these people did not have jerry cans to carry water. How do they access water? And the heat. And the heat. Now I introduce you to Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. I want to take the one from Isaiah. Are you getting blessed? Yes. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, before we go to Isaiah, let's go, go with me to Exodus first. Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. Let's read together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. To go by day, what? Have you discovered that during the day he went with them before what? It was like a what? A pillar of cloud to lead them. Isaiah chapter 4, verse? Yes, Isaiah 4, verse 5. Good. Thank you. Is it? Yes, 4, verse 5. Jesus. Thank you so much. Let's read. Let's read together. Yeah. Yes. 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 Aha, uh -huh. proceed. Upon all, shall be what? Shall be what? The next verse, the next verse, let's say. Look at that. Now, what will give them the shadow? The cloud. The cloud will do what? Resist them or will protect them from what? The heat. Are we together? Yes. In other words, it was a, uh, how do you call these rooms that have a, a, a C, air conditioned. That's what happened. Because in the, amid is that heat, you can't travel from Egypt to Israel. mystery. The heat. You will be roasted before you get there. Now, he gave that shadow through the cloud to protect them from the heat for a place of refuge and for a covert from the storm and from rain. Look at that. By the way, the Bible says that they were not rained on. Look at how God cares. Now, away from that, have you ever asked yourself, how did they drink water? It is so simple. God made a rock to follow them everywhere they, go, everywhere they went. Mm. I know that one you didn't know. Oh, Jesus. Uh. 
<laughs> a rock followed them everywhere they went. The same, same. Let me. The same Isaiah. Let me open. Yes. Psalm 78 verse 15. Psalm 78 verse 15. We are dealing with the heart matter. Yes. Pastor Grace. Psalm 78 verse 15. He clave the rocks in the wilderness. To do what? Now, that is just one part. There is another scripture here that I want you to look for. This is a stand to be a Bible study. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. From verse 1 to, we read to, to 3 before I continue. I'm still, I'm still talking about something here that you need to understand. Uh -huh, to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1. Let's read. Moreover, Moreover brethren, I will not you don't be ignorant. How about that all our fathers were under the cloud? Yes. They all passed through the sea. They all through the sea. Those were the Israelites, right? Yeah. Proceed. Next verse. Uh, uh -huh. They were all baptized. That's another. To uh, you see, Melewa. Pass that verse three. Next verse. Uh huh. Now there is a, there is which which which. Yes. Proceed. 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 We are good. We are good. Verse four. Look at this now. Ah. Uh -huh. I knew that one you were not aware about. Yoko Mejua. One of Kirianga event at Misri to Israel in one day. 40 years. Where will you take? Give me, show me the system that you have that will sustain the lives of 40, uh, 3 million people for 40 years. You have to have a system in place. And he did it. They were not farming. Kumbuka. They were not raukaing. Wakienda kazi. Just because of one man. Moses. Just because of one man. Moses. When God wanted to destroy the Israelites. Moses bargained for their destiny. Moses said no. It is rather you destroy me. But leave them. Can I tell you something? Great people. There are moments where. You don't have the voice. There are realms you don't have the voice to bargain for what you want. And I'll tell you, when you are confronted with such moments, a higher voice is needed. A higher voice is needed. A higher voice is required. So I wonder, I, I, I pity brethren that say, uh, I go to this and this church. But then there is grace. Grace is sufficient, man of God. If we check the essence of our Christianity, part of what was supposed to be a structure was a family. Family. Hallelujah. <laughs> what your spiritual leader does as much as you cry before the Lord there are realms you get to that your voice is not enough your bonga points are not enough to bargain for what you want a man must come and step in now when God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. What, according to you, what could be the reason why he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? How many, how many of you said sin? How many of you say it's because of sin? Just lift up your hand. 
seen. Wow. Thank you. That's good. Thank you for trying. The reason why Sodom and Gomorrah was being destroyed is because there was no righteous man. There was no preacher there. So what happened? Abraham, because even if Lot alikuwa cousin, ni niece, nephew ama ni niece, nephew Abraham, I thought God would have considered him. I thought God would have, but he was part and parcel of those people in Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, Abraham disrupts God's program on his way to destroy. And he says, if you find so and so amount of people that are righteous, will you spare them? God says, yes, I will. And I said, yes, I will. The question is this, did God destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Yes. Did he destroy it? Yes. Did he destroy it? Yes. Now, if Abraham had knew that Lot was out of alignment, Maybe he would have given another and get a just conversation. Yaki. But he thought that the mentorship I gave to Lot, Lot is still standing. Ali mm. Fikiria Evo. He assumed. But when judgment was beckoning, Mungu Tualim idea. When the Bible said, when he was destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible said, and Jesus, God, remembered Abraham. Mm. 